G'day guys, Mitchell Dale here from Rugby League Week TV, joined by Martin Lenahan. Leno, game one, done and dusted. It was an absolute epic. It was, yeah. Look, certainly lived up to the billing for the 100th game. An absolute classic. New South Wales getting home. The first time they've won a game one up there in Queensland since 03. So I think looking at the key moments there, Mitch, it will obviously start with uh, Cooper Cronk after 10 minutes with the broken arm. Yeah, 10 minutes. Goes off with the broken arm. Queensland did lose their shape. Daily Cherry Evans... There was some debate as to who the better number seven is, but you could just tell that Cooper Cronk was the main man. That was the way they trained all week. They did lose some shape when Cherry came on. They did, and I guess it puts a lot of pressure on JT as well. So, look, Cherry Evans will be better for that experience, but uh, Cooper Cronk, I guess it just shows what a, what a key player he is, a vital link for them, and uh, it made a huge difference to Queensland for sure. Yeah, absolutely. They did, as I said before, they lost some of their shape. I would say the next big moment was in the 50th minute. New South Wales on top 10-4 at half time. They had all the running. They got a penalty to go 12-4 up early in the second half, and then the Maroon wave just started. Started in about the 50th minute, and it did not stop. Yeah, it went for another half hour, didn't it? 52,000 people at, at Suncorp just behind their team. Their big players lifted. English started making runs. They picked New South Wales apart on New South Wales' right side. Darius Boyd got his second try. They just all came they, to the table they just threw the for kitchen a full sink half hour. Yep, that was it. And I would have to say, any other time in the past eight years, I reckon New South Wales would have cracked. I think every Blue fan was probably thinking it's going to crack. I reckon every Maroon fan would have been thinking yeah, just it's waiting. going to come, it's going to come. It just didn't come. Yeah, and it all got down to the last 10 minutes. If you want to look at the third big part of the match, that last 10 minutes, some calls that New South Wales would say went against them. And again, I think... Any time in the last few years, they might have gone to water there a little bit, and uh, they held on. But they were massive calls, got Queensland down the field, but uh, somehow New South Wales hung on. Yeah, it was just that grinding, that last-ditch effort, which, again, I think it was just those things at Queensland. They would have got them in previous years. They didn't get them this year. How much momentum does that now give the Blues going into Sydney? Look, I think to come home for them in front of 80,000 people in Game 2... That was a real barrier for them to win up in Queensland. So, look, all the momentum with them. This great Queensland side goes back, regroups. Obviously, no Cooper Cronk, you would think. Cameron Smith looked like he got hurt, bravely stayed on. They're a phenomenal team. It is just going to be an absolute epic in Sydney. Yeah. On that point, though, I would have to say, I think they'll be a little bit smoother in attack next time, having Cherry Evans train the whole week as the first choice. For sure. Number seven. Yeah, that'll help them for sure. Yeah. To wrap it up, Player of the match for you? I'm going to go with Jared Hayne. I thought he was unbelievable. He was everywhere in attack, in defence. He, he cleaned up in goal. I think everybody knew if New South Wales were going to win, he was going to have to big game. So His definitely defensive Hayne. awareness was incredible. Yep. Off his own line, diffusing kicks, diffusing and defending off his own goal line was amazing. For me, I give two. I'd say Paul Gallen was incredible through the middle. Went off for 10 minutes between the 55th and 66th minute. His figures will be enormous. And his old mate, Nate Miles, on the other side, I thought he was just yeah, as good. He matched, he matched Paul Gowan. He was, he was phenomenal through the middle there for Queensland. So, guys, an unbelievable game. We've got to wait three weeks for the next one, unfortunately, but uh, it'll be an epic. Thanks, Mitch. And we'll see you there.